for this fishing lure I'm going to wipe it down with isopropyl alcohol. It'll leave it nice and clean and it'll be ready for the next step and we'll dry that with a hairdryer. You may need to use an adhesion promoter depending on the lures you have or even sanding. Time to get going with the painting so we're going to put down a couple of coats of Autoborn Sealer White. We're going to dry them in between coats with a hairdryer and we've got that reduced by about 20% with high performance reducer. Now for this you're going to need an uh, open airbrush, so a 0.5mm, so we're using the trigger airbrush for my Watt and Neo, and that's a 0.5mm which is suited to the Autoborn sealers. We got the same airbrush loaded with Wicked Colors Pearl White, reduced by about 10% with high performance reducer, and you can see we're about 5 to 6 inches away from the surface. We'll put down two coats, dry in between coats, and because the undercoat is white this will cover very quickly, ready to go again. Now for the ultimate test of your prep work, I'm going to use V-Tape for Mortarware Colours. This is a small tape diameter and it's going to conform very well to this lure, so from the top working our way around and underneath heading towards the back of the lure, so we've got an angled line. And then I'm going to back mask the whole lure up with 3M Green Automotive Masking Tape, both of these are found on the masking sections on the website. I suggest you use good quality tapes here, if you use cheap tapes from hardware stores you're going to get jagged lines and you're going to get paint bleeding through. We're going to use Wicked Colours Ultraviolet Glow White here so our colours as we go through the water column will still glow from the violet lighter from the surface. So we're going to use this as a base coat underneath our next colour so we'll put a couple of heavy coats of this down. We're now applying a couple of coats of Wicked Colours Pearl Red over the top of the UV Glow Base. Now this will not completely knock out the UV glow base, we will still get a glow from beneath but it won't be quite as bright as what it was if it was still a standalone colour. The moment of truth as we pull off the masking, now this is aggressive masking tape so this will prove whether or not we got it correct and with the isopropyl alcohol it now shows that that works because I didn't pull up any paint at all. Now for the damage look, so we're putting underneath UV glow white where the underneath of the mouth would be and that's going to glow under the water and on top with now the TRM1 which is a 0.35 we're going to put in some Wicked Colours Fluoro Pink and that'll glow through the water column and that'll look like a damaged fish. We now have our TRM1 which is a 0.35 the trigger handle from Neo and we're going to be going down the length of the lure with Wicked Colours Pearl Red. Now we're going to spray through our Texture FX Mini stencils making some random shapes and as you can see we need to have that fine detail gun so we can pick out certain dots and do areas without blasting it in everywhere. We want the glow underneath the water column so we're going to overlay some of the stencil again then we're going to use the UV glow white direct over the top of the pearl red. We want control so we're going to be using the TRM1 from our water, the 0.35mm and we're going to use the Createx Illustration Colors Black straight from the bottle. As you can see we're using a stencil so we've got the Auto Air Colors Snacks Fishing Lure Stencil Set and we've selected the Gill Rakes one. So we're going to tape up around the gill rake so we don't get overspray everywhere being black and we're going to put in one gill rake. Now when you swap sides the thing that you need to do here is either you need the stencil completely dry before you relocate it because it's going to be the reverse side or if you grab a big wipes and put a little bit of high performance reducer on it wipe the stencil down it comes off straight away it's nice and clean so you can see exactly what you're doing. To correct any overspray or any unwanted areas, if you grab a cotton bud and a little bit of cleaner on it, make sure it's only just a bit, and give it a light wipe, you'll find that you'll be able to get the surface area off without damaging the rest of the lure. I want to add some structure to the lure, so using the Artool stencils, the Nanos, and it's a Scalafina, I'm now going to put in some random lines down the side of the lure, I've masked up the parts I want, so I don't get overspray everywhere. It's time to bring these colours to life with clear coat. So the products you've been using, they're all water-based base coats, but they are all automotive grade pigments, which means you can use acrylic lacquer clear, you can use two-pack clear, you can dip them, you can have a look at YouTube, you will find there's many different ways to clear coat your fishing lures. But for this job, I'm going to use the acrylic lacquer clear that I found at Super Cheap Autos, it's Dupla Color, and it works very well with these paints and it doesn't go yellow. A little bit about acrylic lacquer clear. If you've got warm to hot conditions, you can follow the manufacturer's specifications and you'll get a good result. 
but if you've got cold conditions like we've got now we've got two degrees here right now which means the substrate temperature of the fishing lure is going to be lower than that if i try to clear it what's going to happen is the clear is going to either react and crocodile or it's going to crack it's not the paint we've put on it's going to be the clear coat reacting to the cold weather so what we're going to do is we're going to warm the fishing lure up by putting a fan heater in the area and then we're going to put on a couple of coats, drying them with a hairdryer in between coats. And that's only going to take 10 to 15 seconds. Then we're going to build up our coats until we get it nice and glossy. Now, if you go for a really saturated coat, it is possible you can get bloom, being the fact that it's so cold and that it's going to be a white tinge. So I suggest you build up your coats medium to wet. And then when you've got it to a stage that you're happy with, call it done. These are the products we use to create our fishing lures and they're all found at airbrushmegastore.com except for the acrylic lacquer clear. If you need something you can't find it, send me an email, info at airbrushmegastore.com. I'm there to answer your questions. But for this kit, we use the old Water Power Jet Pro. It's strong enough to run all day long. It comes with two different air lines on the unit, which means you can run a different air pressure to either side. That is suitable because we wanted to use the Iwata Trigger airbrushes. They're both Neos. Why do we use these? Well, being a trigger, when you release the trigger, the airflow and the material stops. So if you're a beginner airbrush artist, you can get great results immediately. If you try to go straight to a trigger airbrush on top of the airbrush, you're going to find that it's going to be harder to use. It's going to take a lot longer to get the knack of it. Don't let that put you off. If that's what you want to do, go for it. But the trigger on the front of the airbrush allows you to get results very quickly. Now, as far as the needle sizes, we used a 0.5mm and a 0.35mm. So the 0.5mm you'd use for your undercoats and your flakes, and the 0.35mm you would use that for doing your more detailed work. So after this, we used the Autoborn sealers as our undercoat. We used AutoWear colors, Wicked colors, and Illustration colors as our paint job colors. We used V-Tape to tape up our designs, and we also used the AutoWear Snacks Fishing Lure stencil set. Everyone needs to have these. It comes with a multitude of stencils in that set, different sizes. You can create your scales, your gill rakes multiple designs i can't see you doing fishing lures without them and then we used a variety of art tool stencils which gave us a great deal of different designs so if you want to get the results that you've seen in this video grab this gear and you'll get professional results too